Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you about the Triangle Inequality Theorem. Triangle Inequality Theorem answers the question, if we had the lengths of two sides of a triangle, what are the possible lengths of that third side? So what's the maximum length of this third side, and what's the minimum length of this third side? Okay, so I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to find the range of possible measures of this third side. So again, what's the shortest this thir third side could be, and what's the longest this third side could be. And then, given three side lengths, we're going to determine if those three side lengths can actually create a legit triangle. Okay, so, on to the triangle inequality theorem. You know, that's an example. On to the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, so here's a blank page to show you. Okay, so, I have two straws. Here's one straw, here's another straw. Okay, this straw right here, this longer straw is six inches. And this short straw is four inches. And the question is, what's the maximum length of this third side? So I'm gonna put max. And the question, the other question is, what's the minimum length of this invisible third side? So imagine, okay, a third side right there connecting it to make it a triangle. Our goal is to figure out what's the longest this third side could be. And then what's the shortest this third side could be? All right, first thing, let's try to figure out what's the longest this invisible third side could be of this triangle. Okay, so imagine another green straw right there. If we were to measure it, what's the longest it could be? Well, what do we have to do to make this side right here longer? Let's make this angle right here wider. Let's make, let's rotate so that this angle is as wide as possible. Okay, and the widest it could be without it turning into a reflex angle okay it would be a straight angle or 180 degrees okay so what's the length from here to here yeah it's 10 4 4 plus 6 is 10 so the maximum length that third side could be is 10 however and I will we'll, we'll put uh, 4 plus 6 just so that you know how we got that inches However, look at this. Is this a triangle? No, it's a straight line. It's no longer a triangle. So what do we have to do to make this into a triangle? We have to make this angle just slightly less than 180 degrees, like uh, that, okay? Now, if we connected it, okay, we could have a triangle. Now, is that maximum length now 10 inches? No. As we close as we make this angle smaller, what happens to that third side? It actually gets shorter, right? So the maximum length is it equal to 10? No, it's actually less than 10 inches. So we don't know the actual length, but it has to be less than 10 inches. It could be 9.9999999999 with a bar. But easier to say is it's less than 10 inches. So the, the maximum length has to be less than 10 inches. Can't equal 10 because if it's 10, it would be a straight line. That's why we just put less than. Okay, remember this is the symbol for less. It's pointing to the left, so it's less. Now the question is, next question, what's the minimum this third side of this triangle can be? Well, what are we gonna do? What are you gonna tell me to do? Well, let's make this angle smaller let's make it narrower and as we make it narrower that third side yeah it does get shorter yeah right it's getting shorter it's getting shorter it's getting shorter and how short can we make it well let's make it so that these lines are pretty much on top of each other now so what's the length from here to here well if those the long straw is six the short straw is four the length from here to here would be 2. Yeah? However, however, look at this. Is this a triangle? No. What would we have to do to make this into a triangle? Yeah, we'd have to make this angle slightly larger. Larger. And as we make it larger, okay, what's happening to that third side? It's getting, it's getting longer. Longer than what? Longer than, from here to here, two. So the minimum has to be 
greater than two inches. How do we get that to? Six minus four. So the minimum has to be greater than two inches and less than 10 inches. The max has to be less than 10 inches. So what did we do there? All we did was we added the two sides to get the maximum, but it has to be less than that, the sum. And what did we do to get the minimum? We subtracted the two sides, but it has to be greater than the difference. So greater than two, but less than 10. Um, and your homework, or in, in example problems, don't write these two different ones. So greater than two inches and less than 10 inches. An easier way, or a, a better way, a simpler way, a neater way to write this is, well, if we, we know it's greater than two inches, let's just flip it so that, let's put the two here, let's put the X over here. And so we, since we flip the two to the left side, we, f we flip the X to the right side, this greater than, we're going to flip it also so that it's less than. Okay? So 2 is less than x, or x is greater than 2. So these two say the same thing. And then let's take this right here. Hey, look, there's already an x over here. All we have to do is bring this 10 over. And there. So this would be our final answer to the question, what's the range of values? this third invisible side of this triangle can be it has to be greater than 2 but less than 10 in between 2 and 10 but can it equal 2 no because that would be a 0 degree angle and the two sides would be on top of each other can it equal 10 no because that would be a straight line and that wouldn't be a triangle that would just be a straight line so there you go in between 2 and 10 but not equal to 2 and not equal to 10. The easy part is, what do we do to get these two numbers? We just added to get the max, and we just subtracted to get the minimum. So that's it, all right. Add and subtract, add to get the maximum. Okay, and let's put add and subtract to get the minimum, okay? But remember, it's less than, not less than or equal to, because this would be a straight line, and this these, this would just be two lines on top of each other. Okay? All right. So, fairly easy concept. Just remember, you add and you subtract, and make sure that it's not equal, because it's a straight line, not equal, because those would be two lines on top of each other. All right. So, let's do some examples. Two sides of a triangle have the following measures. Find the range of possible measures of the third side. So we don't need straws anymore. We know two things. All we have to do is two things. Add to get the maximum. So let's add 8 plus 5 would be 13. And it can't equal 13. It has to be less than 13. And the minimum, it has to be greater than 8 minus 5 is 3. And that's it. So. The possible measures have to be in between 3 and 13. It could be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12.1, 12.2. Uh, it can't be 14 because it has to be less than 13. It can't be 2 because it has to be greater than 3. Only in between these two numbers. Okay, 1 and 11. Again, add and subtract. 1 plus 11 will be 12 less than x and 11 minus 1 would be 10 so that third side has to be less than 12 but greater than 10 and only if this thing would actually focus there we go all right this one maximum 7 plus 7 is 14 less than x and the minimum is 7 minus 7 is 0 now can it be 0 no that's why it's not less than or equal to it has to be greater than 0 so 0 0.001 0 0.1 1 2 3 4 5 anything all the way up to a number that's less than 14 like 13.99 all right here we go what's the maximum remember we add and subtract 21 plus 15 would be 36. I think that's my mental math. Hopefully it's correct. 
and less than x and less than 21 minus 15 would be 6 okay so in between 6 and 36 uh, but not equal to these numbers so it can't be 37 it can't be 5 but it could be 7 it could be 8 it could be 10 it could be 20 it could be 21 so any number in between these numbers would be able to create a triangle any length would be able to create a triangle all right so all right now part two state if these three triangles can be the measures of the sides of a triangle so if this was 18 inches 6 inches and 10 inches would this be able to create an actual triangle if we connected the three sides together well here's how you do it if you think you can do it just press pause and then see if you can do it if not unpause and here's how you do it you just ignore the third side like we did here we only had two sides so let's just focus on two sides 18 plus 6 would be 24 18 minus 6 would be 12 now let's look at that third side 10 is 10 in between 12 and 24 no so can this be a triangle no so 10 is not in between 12 and 24 okay again let's do this and you could ignore any of these three numbers so let's ignore this 12 or this 12 or 8 or yeah let's ignore this 12 so 8 plus 12 would be 20 and 12 minus 8 would be 4 and is 12 in between 4 and 20 yes so this would be a triangle yeah these three sides can create a triangle okay now let's look at this one 12 6 12 and 6 uh, let's ignore this 12 okay so 6 and 6 will be 12 6 minus 6 will be 0 and which one did we do we ignore the 12 is 12 less than 12 no it's equal to 12 so can this create a triangle no because it has to be less than 12 not equal to 12 so this is a no okay and if we ignored and let's just for example let's ignore the 6 right here let's let's test out the 6 6 and 12 would be 18 12 minus 6 would be 6 and let's see let's let's focus on the 6 now is the 6 less than 18 yeah but is 6 the 6 greater than 6 or is 6 less than 6 no it's equal to 6 so even if we ignored this 6 and used these two numbers we'd still get the same answer no all right and the last one which one do you guys want to ignore i hear you i hear you you saying you're saying 14 Okay, let's ignore 14 and let's focus on 11 and 6. How to find the maximum? You add 11 plus 6 would be 17. And 11 minus 6 would be 5. Is 14 between 5 and 17? Yup. It's somewhere in between there, but we know for sure it's in between. So this is a yes. All right. So um yeah i think this one and then we we did the 12 here i'm just putting the the numbers that we actually ignored um so we ignore the 12 we ignore the 6 and this one was a 14. so yeah so again 10 is not in between 12 and 24 that's a no this 12 is in between 4 and 20 so that's a yes this 12 is not less than 12 so it's a no we ignored we, we did this problem again by ignoring a different number. 6 is not greater than 6, or 6 is not less than 6. It's equal, so it's still a no. And number 4, we ignore the 14. We added the 11 and 6, and 14 is in between 17 and 5. All right, that's the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, so just remember two things. To get the maximum, you add, but it has to be less than that number, that number. 
And to get the minimum, you subtract, but it has to be greater than that number. And that's it. it can be equal, less than, greater than. Add, subtract. Two things. Add, subtract. Add, subtract. Add, subtract. Subtract, add, subtract. All right. That's the triangle inequality theorem. Have a great day.